So you're locked down and bored. So let's go into an adventure with my five favorite storybooks. I've loved reading each one of these and I guarantee that they're going to fill up your day with joy and enthusiasm besides of course helping you improve your English. So let's get going. Hey everyone, this is Chetna and you're watching Chet Chat and today we are diving into the world of my five favorite books. Now I've read some of these books in print form and some on my book reader but my favorite way to read books is as audiobooks on Storytel. I love audiobooks because these days I have a lot of chores to do around the house and I just put on my audiobook and I'm like cooking and cleaning and even sometimes going for a walk. Chances are you're in exactly the same situation and you probably want to improve your English but you're daunted by this 300 page book. So listening will not only help your pronunciation and also help you feel the adventure of the book. And now quickly let's get right into those five favorite storybooks. Book number five is Unbroken by Laura Hillenbrand, a New York Times bestseller a movie that's directed by Angelina Jolie and now also adapted into a book for young adults with over 100 beautiful illustrations. The story begins by a military plane that crashes into the Pacific Ocean and the pilot Louis Zamperini comes out and is faced with miles and miles of ocean, leaping sharks, a sinking raft, thirst and hunger. Now, going back, Louis Zamperini as a kid was a rebel, but he went on to become a US Olympian champion and then joined the US military during the Second World War. The story is very gripping about this rebel who turns into a champion and later on turns into a survivor. Louis eventually lands up in a Japanese camp as a prisoner of war, but he could not be broken. Unbroken is both moving and inspirational. Now you can watch the movie but I highly recommend that you read the book because it's gripping and the details that it gives you fills you with adrenaline and inspiration. And if you've read the book before or watched the movie before then give me a comment under this video telling me which is your favorite part of the book or movie. Now during the lockdown, when it's hard to get hold of those physical books, Storytel has offered Chet Chat users a free 30 day unlimited access as a trial to their app. And even later on, it's very affordable at about 299 rupees a month with unlimited access. And I'm going to leave a link for you in the description box below. And now for book number four, 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. You may have seen the Netflix adaptation of 13 Reasons Why, but the book is really exciting and you must read it. Now, Hannah Baker has gone. She's committed suicide. And Clay Jensen, who's actually one of her friends and really very fond of her, gets this bunch of tapes. And as he starts listening to them, he discovers that there were 13 reasons why Hannah Baker committed suicide and 13 people responsible for her death. Now, Clay goes on to discover who these 13 people are and what those 13 reasons are. And that is when the story unfolds with layers of surprising connections and high school dynamics. And it grips you as you read along. It also is a bit thought provoking where you wonder that even one word that you say to somebody could have such a deep impact on that person's life. It's a quick read and you might be able to finish it in a couple of days. And if you've already read 13 Reasons Why, don't forget to tell me your favorite part of the book. And also, if there's any other book that you found very interesting, put that down as well as a comment under this video and that'll help all the other viewers as well. Book number three, Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. Ready Player One has once again been turned into a movie by Steven Spielberg. Now Ready Player One is set in 2045, where most of humanity spends almost all their time on this virtual reality world called the Oasis. 
and when the founder of the Oasis, James Halliday, dies, he leaves behind a fortune of a trillion dollars and the ownership to the Oasis to a secret someone. Now, he leaves riddles and puzzles throughout the Oasis which lead you to an Easter egg and the first person to find an Easter egg wins all of this. The story begins with meeting Wade, who is the central character of the book. And it's a fascinating read because it takes you into the backstories not only of Wade, but also of the creation of Oasis. During his journey, Wade meets Artemis, his lady love, and together they go about finding the Easter egg. If you find the beginning of the book a little slow, Push through because it gets very exciting pretty quickly. And if you've already read the book, then don't forget to tell me your favorite part of the book as a comment under this video. Book number two, The Hunger Games by Susan Collins. Now, every year, two children, a boy and a girl between the age of 12 and 18 years from 12 different districts participate in the Hunger Games and only one of them survives. Now, this is a punishment that has been given to the 12 districts by the capital because these 12 districts tried repelling against the capital earlier. Now, it's interesting because each one of these districts has their own resource which is unique and the Hunger Games is set in a very reality TV kind of way. Now, this year, it's Katniss Everdeen's turn to go and compete with all these children. It's a crazy action-packed kind of book. It'll keep you on your edge of your seat and you might just be in a rush to finish it in a few days. Once again, there is a movie for you to go and watch, but I highly recommend that you read the book because it is a far more detailed reproduction and you'll get a first-hand feel of the anxiety and the fear and the horror that the children face as they play those Hunger Games. And don't forget to leave me a comment under the video if you've already read or watched the Hunger Games, telling me your favorite character. At number one is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Now, Hazel has been diagnosed with a tumour which causes her to join this cancer support group where she meets Augustus Waters. This leads to a gorgeous change in her life. Now, the characters are teenage-like, the dialogues are also very teenage-like, but they've been shown to have a little bit of maturity because of what they've been through. Now, if you're looking for a sad and cute love story, then this is the book for you. It's filled with both pranks and poetry. It's a New York Times bestseller and there's a movie that's been made on it and I'm also told that there's a Hindi movie that's going to be made on this shortly. And I read this book in one go. I'm pretty sure you'll feel like doing exactly that. And now don't forget to tell me which of these five books was your favorite. And do check out the 30-day free trial on offer by Storytel. You can also Chromecast your books if you want to listen with someone else. And you can also share them as your Insta stories to tell everyone what you're listening to. So I hope you enjoy these books as much as I did. And also press that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it. And give me a thumbs up so I know you want me to make more book review videos. And happy watching!